Want your own personal cloud storage that you control without monthly fees? In this video, I'll show you how to set up your own NAS server at home using VirtualBox and Open Media Vault. Whether you're storing backups, sharing files, or streaming media, this setup is perfect for beginners. Let's get started. First, install VirtualBox if you haven't already. Next, visit openmediavault.org and download all the, the latest ISO version. We'll use this file to install the network attached storage operating system inside VirtualBox. Now open VirtualBox and click New. Give your VM a name like Open Media, set the type to Linux, and version to Debian 64 bit. If it is not detected automatically, then click Next. Assign at least two gigabytes of RAM and create a virtual hard disk, 20 gigabytes minimum. Start the VM and you'll see the Open Media Vault installer. The installation process is pretty straightforward. These are the installation steps. One, select install. Two, choose language and region three, set host name. Four, set root password. Keep it secure. Five, partition disks, use entire disk. Six, wait for installation to complete and finally reboot and remove the ISO when prompted. But it is usually removed automatically Once installed, note the IP address shown on the screen. You'll need it to access the web interface. You can log in on the terminal as the root user with the root user password you created during installation. It looks like the network adapter is set to NAT, but it should be set to bridge so that other computers on the network can access the virtual machine. Let me go ahead and change it to bridged. If you have a wired network, change the name or network card to wired. Next, add a new virtual drive. In the settings window, select storage and then under storage devices, select controller SATA and then click the tiny hard disk icon associated with controller.
in the resulting window, click Create, and then walk through the Disk Creation Wizard, making sure to select VDI when prompted. The disk you are creating now is the one you will use for storage. The one we created earlier when creating this virtual machine is where the operating system is installed. Next, select the newly created disk and click on Choose. As you can see, the disk has been added. The IP address has now changed to the IP addresses I use on my local area network. Go to your main PC's browser and type in that IP. You should see the Open Media Vault web interface. Log in with username, admin, and password, Open Media Vault. The password is one word in small letters. On the first screen, you'll see a message indicating that the dashboard hasn't been configured yet. Click the link to the settings page and in the window that opens, select the widgets you want to add to your dashboard. Right now, Open Media Vault isn't very useful yet because we need to add a virtual disk to create a file system for storage. To do this, go to the left-hand menu, click on Storage, then select File Systems. In the next window, click the plus button to add a new file system. Click the virtual drive you created earlier and click Save. Your new file system is now ready for use in Open Media Vault. With the drive added, you can create shared folders, manage users and groups, and more. Using Open Media Vault as your home, NAS gives you a powerful and flexible solution. And since it's running in a virtual machine, you can easily expand it by adding more virtual drives as your storage needs grow. You can create shared folders by clicking on shared folders. You can also add users who will access the shared folders.
You can add the new user to groups you want, like admin, backup, and so on. The SMB CIFS section in Open Media Vault is used to configure and manage file sharing with Windows and other SMB compatible systems like uh, Linux or Mac OS. What SMB CIFS does enables file sharing. It allows you to share folders over the network so other computers can access them just like they would with a normal Windows shared folder. Cross platform access, SMB server message block is widely supported across operating systems so you can share files between windows linux mac os and even android devices user permission management you can control who accesses which shared folders by assigning permissions to specific users or groups You can also allow guests to have access, which means they do not need to use a username and password. I'm now on a Windows machine let me access the movies folder uh, from the open media server and that's it you've just created your own nas server at home for free using open media vault and virtual box if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell for more tech tutorials see you in the next video